This is the first step of this project. Uh, the partners know each other quite well. I think it's the, one of the first time they work together on such a project. Um, I'm looking for many things. First of all, to uh, have new magic uh, more legitimized and recognized uh, and visible across the European field. I hope that the participants will gain new capacities and skills and by these connections they will maybe create new projects together. So you may want to consider also to talk on top of the video. You know, it's something that you can do. That just what I would suggest if you were to apply with this piece. The Better Circus project is a capacity building project and for me it is very important because in Serbia we are in a lack of uh, circus artists and a lack of uh, official education so this kind of project gives uh, an opportunity uh, for people in Serbia uh, to feel, uh, to see the performances, uh, to feel what contemporary circus, contemporary magic can be, uh, to get uh, educated and to make an impact uh, to the local scene. This sort of cooperation and this sort of strategy is well needed in Serbia. And uh, this is something that was brought by uh, this international project, uh, Beta Circus, uh, which actually brought together people from different European countries, which brought some new methodology and brought some new perspectives uh, also for in, in perspective of Minister of Culture. The city of Navisada understood uh, how a circus could be something uh, to change the city, to change some areas in the city, and they are uh, willing to develop uh, the circus in the educational part, but also in the creative part. And the, the project that they will bring uh, will probably, I hope, will also bring awareness in the, in the population toward this, this very cutting edge uh, art. Contemporary magic for me is a way to try to create beautiful illusions in a poetic context. Contemporary magic for me is really just making dreams possible. Just uh, using the techniques of the traditional modern magic 
and uh, using it for an artistic research and to basically tell a story. Up until this week was probably just TV, uh, mentalism and obviously a more mainstream uh, understanding of, uh, of that, it's like not much, not much more than that and certainly not a, at a professional um, level. It's a way of uh, creating illusion with objects, with the mind and creating a surprise with the audience. I think uh, magic is magic, but contemporary magic is um, the discipline of magic using contemporary theatre to deliver the magic, really. <laughs> Contemporary magic is something yet to be discovered. I don't have, uh, well, now I have like two days experience <laughs> and that's it. So I'm really just uh, exploring and I'm really pleased with, it, with the things that I found. My approach is uh, to work together, for example, with other artists, with other people from other domains. That's uh, for me important and that gives already another approach of the art. Also new techniques. Um, I'm really interested in, in, in new techniques, so bring other things into uh, mentalism. Um, but the most important for me is still what we will do with these mentalism techniques. For example, is it possible that somebody of the public become a mentalist? Beta Circus is an interesting project because today is peculiar to connect practitioners and students and scholars from different parts of Europe because I think every different community today is generating a different approach to circus and uh, the new path in connecting the circus with different arts. So I think that creating links and sharing knowledge is a strong potential to generating new approach we don't know yet and uh, I think is a potential uh, full of possibility for uh, the European mobility of performers. I think circus can be um, a tool uh, of development for some communities uh, it has uh, the potentialities to involve a lot of different audiences and with a non-verbal language is able to arrive to, the, uh, to a lot of different people, uh, different ages, uh, with no cultural barriers and uh, with a very popular uh, attitude, but also sophisticated. The, the fact of um, connecting uh, people from all around Europe is, uh, is uh, something that is uh, really important for me because to, to build up uh, and the connection also between artists and experiences it's something that um, can enrich my experience also. I think what's most important is to 
to get the tools to make your own repertoire within magic or circus or whatever is in between. Um, so I hope to get that out of the project. And next to that, I also just want to make connections and, and yeah, learn new, make, make new friends. I hope that I will get some more tools in my artistic uh, toolbox from which I can choose or yeah some kind of spices in my artistic soup. <laughs> I'm meeting lots of people doing interesting things and working in lots of different ways with magic and it helps me open my uh, mind and, and find new possibilities and new ideas and share information and ideas um, with others um, and see magic working in lots of different contexts. Meet the others, uh, see what they do, um, actually to, to see why they are interested in magic as well and, um, and to learn from the different uh, mentors. I believe that studying this uh, new form of magic, which is not only for practicing magic, it is also rules for narratology, uh, dramaturgy, and all, of, all questions of representation on stage or in plastic arts. And uh, personally, it uh, stimulated me intensively in an intellectual way. And I believe this knowledge can truly enrich the material on stage and uh, of course the ability of practicing magical skills is a level up to many new form of contemporary circus. Circus arts are the confluence of all the other arts uh, on the scene, uh, like uh, dance, theater, music, uh, and uh, technical contemporary circus disciplines themselves. The project like Beta Circus, uh, it is very important in terms uh, of legacy. I mean, not only in terms of the results themselves in the exact moment in which it's taken, but I think it's going to be important in terms of the relationships and the seeds uh, that can put in a land and in a territory, in a landscape for the next uh, 30 years. Portugal is a country where circus arts are recognized very recently, so in the last five years more or less. The word contemporary in circus is quite new and uh, we believe it's quite important not to saying that the classical circus is not important because it is and it is the basis, but bringing from the classic circus the main techniques, so the skills that you can use to find the direction in the contemporary 
and to build a new kind of performances with the dramaturgy, with the story that can go for like a national theatre or other classical institutions and can be uh, classified in the same level of the contemporary arts. Looking for circus arts today, we realized that more than working in theatres or just for the classical performances, we can look for different uh, works with the local community in unconventional places, so moving the way of the cities can feel and live in, in some direction. So uh, we strongly realize that the circus in different ways uh, can really support the politicals for the, the local territorial development. I have to say I'm super surprised that this process is so far giving me so much also beside the mentoring lessons and the workshop itself. It's basically every free time the group has together, it's, it's bringing so much new input into everyone's work. It's, it's, it's brilliant to just share the ideas with everyone else and just collect the, the ideas of the others and discuss things. And yeah, each of us is coming from a completely different field, so I feel like we are really able to help each other and yeah, make something really awesome eventually. For me, the overall process of the, of the project is um, an interesting one in that I've come to it with a knowledge of magic and also with an idea of how I will be applying this, uh, the stuff I've been learning to my own work and also um, bringing my own kind of ideas about what magic does and what it's for. Um, and some of that has kind of been undone or I've been kind of unlearning a lot of that stuff throughout the project through the conversations I've been having with other artists and their perspectives on um, the use of magic in performance. Um, so for me it's been a bit of kind of uh, uh, reconfiguring how I see the way in which I work with magic because I've been working with it for a while. Um, I've had to kind of ask myself questions about the choices I have made and then the choices I will go on to make. In magic, there, there's uh, a lot of things that are hidden. It's different than other circus disciplines, for instance, when you do trapeze or things you, you, the things you see are the things that, uh, that are really happening. In the magic show, what you see is not really what's happening because there's lots of things that are hidden. So it's very difficult to find an artistic way because these hidden things, technical things, take so much space and so it's difficult to find uh, something a little bit human and artistic when you have so much uh, contingency to deal with. For me, contemporary magic is magic that has meaning, that is on not only technical, but uh, as always a dimension of um, writing and uh, artistic uh, content. We think today that technology could do anything as magic could be viewed uh, some centuries ago. Uh, but also, uh, there's nothing stronger than doing a card trick for people because they have the cards in their hands, they are not digital, they are real. So it's um, how you can mix uh, this technology that can be viewed as new gods almost and this ancient magic as a card magic. I expect from Beta Circus uh, a project where the liberty to, uh, to explore new approaches for a circus should put on stage. So it's a, a space and a group of people that allows themselves to unblock the limits and to try new approaches.
Contemporary circus and uh, contemporary magic really has a wide range of possibilities uh, to create an environment in, a, in some place and especially in Latvia when we see that we live in uh, we live in a city in Riga uh, where we have a very uh, bilingual society actually that live in very separate worlds. Circus can be a place where to meet, where to discuss, where to exchange and where to feel together. That is one uh, very important aspect for us. But when we look right, like in a broader sense, talking about this project, um, it is as well very helpful for us when we talk about circus scene because circus scene is something very new in the Baltic states. Riga Circus is the biggest circus organization in the Baltic states and we really aim to become the uh, center for the regional development of circus art. And uh, this is our possibility to actually give the capacity for artists and uh, build up this contemporary scene here and make more connections and contribute to the development of the education of circus and new magic. The connections we are creating here are crucial because uh, 20 years ago when I began with magic it was very difficult for an artist interested in magic to find any uh, public formation, any accessible classes or workshops. Um, that's why when we created the New Magic Art Movement we immediately dis um, decided to, to create also a formation uh, for uh, professional artists. So I think this is what we are trying to do here, to connect artists from very different backgrounds through magic. As a local participant, this is a great opportunity to see uh, different art forms and different techniques and uh, different different people uh, coming to like our home and it is a great experience to uh, yeah to to have this feeling of the unknown come uh, coming here because uh, unless we as artists uh, travel abroad and also join these kinds of programs we can't really know what else is there? We are living in our own bubble and uh, we can continue living uh, like that for ages. And uh, these types of programs really help us broaden our views of what art can actually do and uh, open our uh, own imagination as to what we ourselves uh, are capable of. Magic is a, is a feeling, is an emotion. Magic is not defined by its method, like uh, sculpture, or by the place where it is uh, generally performed in, uh, like theater. Uh, magic defines actually an emotion, and this is the very specific emotion um, provoked by the sudden distortion of reality, by the sudden modification of reality. We think that uh, new magic is another path than classical magic. Classical magic makes focus on uh, entertainment, mostly, and we think that in new magic it's a bit different because um, the tricks are the same, but the, the form and the substances are completely different. In new magic, magic is usually used as a, a tool um, to add the story, like um, special effect um, uh, will come to enhance the substance. In uh, the show A Vu, we try another path. Um, we, uh, we try to put, uh, we put magic uh, in the center of the show and uh, we try to, um, to do magic uh, as a, a unique artistic language.
I see new magic as an important uh, tool that can help me to create a new language uh, in my artistic research. New magic will be something that I will use to experiment and create my own path. I'm already seeing a change in my current practice. Well, first of all, um, I daydream differently. Um, so when I say, for example, when I'm taking a train, when I look outside the window, um, I start to have thoughts that I didn't have before. So the content of my lucid dreaming or daydreaming has changed. Uh, so that's interesting. It's something that I'm definitely enjoying at the moment. And I think in the future, it'll definitely come into my work. Thinking about magic changes the way that I think um, and so that will in turn have an effect on the way that I make performance um, and the way that I work with people in the future. How uh, new magic is going to be in part of that, I, yeah, I honestly don't know yet, but um, I find new magic very inspiring. With physical theatre, comedy and um, object manipulation, could be the ingredient that can link all these areas. New Magic will give me a lot of new tools to um, create my visions and dreams that I have uh, to recreate them on stage. In my future artistic work, I see New Magic as a language of articulation, a way to articulate um, my performance work as well as uh, a way to build and write my work. I see new magic as inevitably part, being part of uh, what I create in the future simply because I've been so inspired on this program. Um, I don't know in what form it will take or how it will manifest itself but it's there as part of the toolbox already. I think I will have the opportunity to use it as a tool or vocabulary to be able to tell the stories that I'm used to tell, to maybe emphasize poetry into these stories. We learn so much, I think it can be used as a complete new language for uh, performance for art. I think uh, I'll definitely try to implement uh, everything that I find interesting as I did before in my life. I feel like now I have new tools to, yeah, to approach it from different angles and to enrich my work like that. I just love that in New Magic, this persona of a magician is completely disappearing from stage. And yeah, we can suddenly put the importance on completely different stuff and topics as well. So yeah, I will do New Magic. Thank mm -hmm. you.